Excuse me, sir. Do you have a webcam? Do you not want to use your webcam and you want to use a real camera? Oh boy, do I have the solution for you. What is going on, Qualls here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use a DSLR camera with an Elgato capture card on your live stream without the Elgato cam link. Let's go. So the first thing that you're going to need, obviously, is an Elgato capture card. Look at that. It's just the HD60S. Um, it doesn't have like any delay whatsoever, but we'll get into that in a minute. Next thing you're going to need, you're going to want to make sure that you have a camera. This is my main camera. The one that I'm using right now, I can also use, and I'll have a tutorial for that all in the same video as well. So it's not just a DSLR, it's just for people that have them, which they both work, but uh, yeah, whatever. And you're going to want to make sure that it has one of these ports on it. This is a mini HDMI. You can also have micro HDMI, but like I said, this is for DSLRs in this segment. There will be another segment for ones that don't have uh, uh, mini HDMI, that have micro HDMI. You'll see what it looks like. Anyway, so you're going to want to make sure that you actually have a cable for this. So here's mine. As you can see, it is micro HDMI. And all you're going to want to do is simply plug it in. Okay, so it is plugged in. Look at that. Now you're going to want to make sure that the other end of this cord is a regular size HDMI, which it should be. Then put your Elgato next to it and then plug in the HDMI. There we go, just like that. So it's coming from the camera and it goes into the HDMI in on the Elgato capture card. Next, you're going to want to actually plug in your Elgato capture card with the USB-C cable or whatever it is. I would not recommend this method if you guys have the old version of the Elgato game capture, which would be this one right here. If you are using it with this one, good luck fixing the delays. It's even worse on this one than it is on that one. Now, the one really annoying thing about this certain camera is that every 30 minutes from the live view, it uh, goes out and you have to reset it, which isn't a big deal, but it can get a, it can get annoying. Another thing that you're gonna want to make sure is that the camera has a clean HDMI output, which what I mean is it shows nothing but the camera, like additional information. You do not want that. So I'm gonna put my batteries in, which is also another thing. Um, some cameras come with AC adapters, but if they don't, you can buy one. Not all cameras are compatible with AC adapters, however. Next, we're going to open our OBS by clicking on OBS, right there, you see. And while you're waiting for OBS to open, you can actually turn on your camera. And now to add your camera, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's turned on like I just said. Go down to Sources, hit Plus, and then go to, sorry if you can't see this by the way, go to, uh, where is it, video capture device. And then it should show up right here, name it whatever you want. And then from here, you can see this is my webcam. Uh, it, it is not optimized for this lighting, so it looks it looks really bad. But go ahead and pick uh, Elgato HD or Elgato Game Capture. Also, you know, if you have one of these, you should actually have, you, can, you, should, you should have the software installed. If you don't, like, okay. And you might have to press a few buttons on your camera if you if your camera requires that. But on mine, if I just click the button that, that shows live view, you heard the shutter. And there we go. You can see it is now uh, working. However, you do notice that there is a slight delay. See, I'll show it right here. Oh, wait. This is too hard. Yeah, there's a small delay, and I still have not figured out how to fix that. But the thing is, is that um, the only way that you can fix it for right now is to add a, go into advanced audio properties, and then add a delay. For my, for me, it's about uh, like 230 milliseconds, something like that. So it's not big, but it's definitely noticeable, and it can vary. Like if your camera battery dies, you can. Uh, go on here and you might have to unplug the Elgato because the thing will be off sync but this looks really good I'll actually record a video from it showing and after that we will go into how to do it with micro HDMI and this is what it looks like on my DSLR the uh, main thing I like about this one is that it makes the background look blurry and it has really good quality like it looks amazing the one problem is that it does not do 60 FPS on the live view which I will say later in the video uh, comparing it to this one, but yeah, this one looks cool. He oh, don't worry about that. It has manual focus, so 
if I feel like it, I could make everything go really, really, really out of focus, or I could make everything look really, really, really in focus. You can see how disgusting my oh, oh. Okay, so for those of you, those of you who do not know or do not know, um, if you have a tripod, you should definitely use it. This, it, you literally cannot use it without a tripod, in my opinion. But make sure that you put the mount on. There we go, it is now on, so I'm going to now put it inside of the tripod. And there we go, and guess what? This one, you have to open this, the screen to turn it on, and then I can flip it around and look at it. Hey look, we get a perfect view of what it would look like. Now honestly, this is probably the hardest step, and you guys will probably never guess what to do. You are now going to want to take your micro HDMI and plug it into here. Ooh, scary. So on this particular camera, you just have to... He's gonna take down this flap right here. Oh, come on. And there we go. And there it is. There we go. It is now connected. And guess what? If you did this one before, look at this. It is already done. And now I can tell that there is also a smaller delay on this one. If we look at it, there uh, we go. Bang. It's a little bit smaller, but you know, it'll have to do. Unless you have a cam link. Uh, then you can just use the cam link, but if you really don't want to use the cam link And you have an Elgato capture card, and you don't feel like spending almost $200 on a cam link. You can do this It's a win-win situation Okay, so for some reason it did not record my microphone audio and this is the third time I'm recording it I am NOT I'm just doing a voiceover. I do not feel like setting it up for the third time but uh, pretty much what I was talking about is how my DSLR does not have 60 FPS in the live view and the one that I'm using it does have 60 FPS in the live view so that's what I was talking about there um, the DSLR has better quality uh, this one can zoom in really really far just like this it's mainly used for like a meme camera or like a meme thing if you want to be funny if you're not funny originally you could use this but yeah this one the basically all I'm talking about is the perks of the camcorder our zoom in and x60 fps anyway if you guys enjoyed please be sure to leave a like comment subscribe cause genocide on that like button and i will see you guys later and peace out